Hi there, Jeff here, looking at the 25 mark question on the impact of an increase in the minimum wage on the UK hospitality sector. So here's the initial context, the STEM. In 2024, the national living wage increased to £11.44 per hour. It's gone up since. Over 30% of UK hospitality workers are paid at or near the minimum wage, leading to concerns about affordability for small businesses. And here's your question. Evaluate the impact of an increase in minimum wage on the UK hospitality industry or an industry of your choice. So you might well have researched something else, in which case use that. But I'll be using the hospitality sector in my answer. So we're looking for a five paragraph answer, two KEA points, two evaluation points and a final reason judgment supported by diagrams. Here's the first point. An increase in the national living wage to £11.44 using the STEM raises labour costs for many hospitality firms, particularly small businesses. Consequently, businesses such as application cafes, pubs and independent hotels face high variable costs, increasing average cost of production. This causes a fall in profit margins, especially in the sector already facing a lot of pressure from the cost of gas and other costs. In theory, firms can pass on costs if demand is priced in elastic, but in practice, love that phrase, in theory, but in practice, uh, many hospitality firms operate in competitive markets, monopolistic competition, for example, where pricing power is limited. This means that profit maximisation becomes more difficult, particularly for rural or low footfall establishments. You know, that small uh, corner shop cafe or that uh, relatively quiet pub where you don't get a lot of customers. Indeed, some hospitality businesses may move below the shutdown price and leave the industry. My diagram, coming up in a second, shows how a rise in variable costs causes total profits to fall from P1ABC1, which we'll see, to P2CDC2. So there's the uh, diagram showing uh, profit maximisation initially at price P1, then costs go up. As a result, profit maximisation output falls to Q2. The firm is able to raise the price a little bit to P2, but the unit cost has gone up to C2, causing a fall in total profits. Keep in mind, of course, labelling areas, much better than shading. You can then refer to the labelled area in the text of your answer. To evaluate, however, high wages improve or can improve worker motivation and productivity, reducing staff turnover, which is a major cost. In the hospitality sector, that's true. Actually, lots of the churn rate amongst employees is often very high. The sector has amongst the highest staff turnover rates in the UK, with annual rates exceeding 30%. Good application. Consequently, reduced recruitment and training costs may mitigate the initial rise in wage bills. So if you have a loyal workforce, you can save money elsewhere. And if workers have higher disposable income, this can stimulate demand across the local economy, including... Spending in hospitality, particularly in low-income areas where the propensity to consume is high. This causes a pos potential positive multiplier effect. So in theory, you might be able to reduce your cost of retraining and hiring. And also there might be a kind of demand stimulus if people are spending that extra income in the local economy. But then the second KA point, the increase in minimum wage also risks reducing jobs, employment within the hospitality sector with businesses either reducing hours or freezing hiring, not replacing people who leave, or automating roles. This causes potential job losses, particularly among young part-time and seasonal workers. Small independent operators are less able to absorb wage increases than larger chains who enjoy economies of scale. In practice, this may lead to a rise in underemployment or, or and substitution of labour with capital, such as self-service kiosks in quick service restaurants. My analysis diagram shows that a rising minimum wage can lead to a contraction of employment from E2 to E3 despite more people wanting to work. So here's the labour market diagram showing an increase in the minimum wage. I mean, you could easily just show just the minimum wage itself, but I've assumed that one existed already, which it did. So it goes up from minimum wage 1 to minimum wage 2, and employment falls from E2 to E3. However, it does depend, as we'll see in a second, on the wage elasticity of demand for labour. If you have a wage inelastic curve, then the impact of an increase in minimum wage is much smaller, much smaller. In evaluation, 
the employment effects of minimum wage increases are often less severe than predicted. My diagram shows that when labour demand is wage inelastic, the fall in employment is much smaller. Additionally, in sectors experiencing chronic labour shortages, like hospitality post-Brexit, higher wages can attract a more stable domestic workforce, reducing reliance on migration and easing the costs of recruitment. In theory, this also improves service quality, leading to better customer satisfaction and potential revenue gains. In practice, some firms may struggle to find staff, even at higher wages, especially with the cost of transport and housing so high. And then we're looking for a final reasoned judgment. Overall, the increase in minimum wage poses significant short-term challenges to the hospitality industry, particularly for small firms. The extent of the impact depends in part on what is happening to other business costs. Good examples, nasty insurance, just gone up recently, business rates or rates relief and VAT. Recent years have been challenging for the hospitality sector. The fear is that continued increases in minimum wages could well see a significant fall in employment. That's my final reason judgment to this 25 mark question on the minimum wage and the impact on the hospitality sector. Thanks for joining in.